Welcome back to Las Vegas version, the 2008 National Championships. It's ESPN Saturday night, Chris Puckett, Sundance, and Farouk with you all night long. And guys, we're getting ready for match number two. It's a rematch Ooh, of not only great. the 2006 National Championships, not only the 2007 National Championships, but now it's winner's bracket round two match. Final boss taking on their rivals. Carbon. Yeah, this is a little bit of a throwback match right here. I'm not sure a lot of people would have picked this as being the matchup we we're going to see, you know, at this point in the tournament. But I'll tell you what, this is great to see. I like the fact that Carbon had a, had a tough series against Triggers Down, who a lot of people were favoring to kind of coast uh, into that matchup against Straight Ripping eventually. But there's also on the other side Final Boss, and I think these guys, these guys are they're definitely coming in here with a little bit of a swagger, with a little bit of a, you know, they feel like they have something to prove. I was talking to them last night a little bit. You see the Ogres have a little scruff right there, a little bit of a throwback to last year when they didn't drop a single game at the national championship. They said they're trying to bring that back. It's they the were, lucky chin here, baby. It's the lucky. It's, there were only four or five of them, but but it works. <laughs> so the thing that I like is that last night, exactly. When I was talking to them last night, though. They were smiling. They looked like they were having fun. They looked like they were here. They, they were focused, but they weren't too heavy about the whole thing. They were checking out Ogre 2 and now Sundance. I was okay. talking to Tom earlier, and he said, beware of the be sent Dan. Yeah, that's right. He's talking about his twin brother at the far end. It's Ogre 1. Ogre 1 having a rough season, but he has turned it around in this Las Vegas event. Yeah. You saw him last night. I saw, I'll game. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Right now, I'll go down and I'll say, these guys play up to their potential. If they play the way they're capable of playing, they're beasts. We know that. That's not the question. The question is, are they going to be able, if they hit a bump in the road, if they find themselves in a bad spot, are they going to be able to rebound from that? I think you got Neighbor, the best player on the circuit, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. you got the two twins who are the most storied players in all of Halo, along with Walshie, who they got rid of, and then Strongside, a kid who at the beginning of the year I picked as the breakout player of the season, the guy to watch. Again, I, maybe not the season I thought he was going to have, but these guys can make all that stuff go away by winning this event. And they have won them. They've, they, they've been they here before. Event. They've been here before. On the other side with the Carbon guys, this is a team that a lot of people gave up on, and I think they may have given up on themselves a little bit. But we have all, you and I have been fans of Natives for a long time. The kid can just play. All right? And then you see Ghost right there. He's smiling. He's smiling because this is what he, where he wants to be. He wants to be on the main stage playing in a game that matters, that's important. Welcome right? back to the main stage, Ghost. Anarchy, you know he's looking focused. He had something to say to Triggers down after that last round when they, they knocked those guys down. I think it was something about chump one through four. Maybe getting something off his chest right there. But my guy, Shockwave, to me, he's the key for them. Apparently, something clicked last week in his brain if you ask Ghost. He says, you know what? I think we got, we got, Car uh, we got Chris on track right now. I think we're going to do some damage. And I wouldn't be surprised if this match right here is one for the ages. This is going to be a great matchup right here. I can't wait for this. I'm three. pumped. All right, now Sundance, we've been talking about these teams. Now it's time to look at their pretty mugs. We're going to be checking out the blue team. It's Team Carbon. We got Shockwave, the team captain, of course. We got Captain Anarchy, Ghost Ami, the guy who's taught me how to play Halo 3 better than anyone else on the planet. That's why I'm up here. Just kidding. And, of course, Nated. Now, Sundance, what are they going to have to do to take down Final Boss in this matchup? Clutch. Got to be clutch, 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 clutch. The old carbon would never be too, in too deep of a hole. They would always come back and make amazing plays. And now especially Ghost. I want to see Ghost do big things just as we saw him do in previous seasons. If he does that, they're going to be fine. They got to keep their heads in the game. They can't get distracted, can't get frustrated. They got to teamwork. That last round, the final team slayer game, 50 kills, 45 assists. That's ridiculous. That's what wins games. And you know what? If they can slay, because these guys have the ability, if they slay, they'll win. And then, of course, you know, Carbon, they're going to look for those keys, but they've got to they gotta play out of their minds right now because we saw Final Boss a little bit earlier in this event, and they were absolutely on fire against Ambush 3 owing them. We're checking out the new team captain since Toronto. It's Ogre 1, his twin... His twin brother, Ogre 2, strong side, and of course, statistically, the best player in the game right now, it's Neighbor. Yeah, you know, I think Neighbor's an amazing player. He was a great pickup by this team. But you know what? They have not gotten consistent play out of Ogre 1 and strong side this season. When they have, when those guys have done their, have done their thing, this team has won. 
Uh, the other thing is the twin domination. I'm sorry, Ogre 1 and Ogre 2, the most winningest players we've ever had on the circuit, and I think the greatest duo we've ever seen in the history of the game. The other thing you've got to look out for, though, is execution. This is the third time around with Neighbor on the team. They talked about not being happy with how they executed the previous events. If this team hits their stride, they're going to be dangerous. You know, final boss, they've been holding something back. I think they're waiting to explode here in Las Vegas, the 2008 National Championships. We're going to see how it's all going down. And, of course, it's still winner's bracket round two. They're going to be playing the same five game types we just saw straight rip and play instinct in. I'm pumped for it, Sundance. I know you're excited. Farouk, how are you feeling right now? Man, I'm feeling really good. I mean, this is like taking it back to the old school right here. You know, five and final balls when I first started out here with MLG. That's all I knew was final and carbon balls. And here we are, three years later, making it happen. Now it final carbon boss, huh? Yep, That's final, an awesome final, sandwich yeah. of these two teams. The thing, <laughs> the, the thing I want to say is, fuck it, this, this, is my, this is my question for you, all right? Is right now we're looking down at these teams and we're seeing there's different faces on here, right? The final boss, the new final boss, obviously there's no Walshie, but you got Neighbor in there. What's Neighbor got to do for his team in this series in order for them to advance and, and maybe have a shot at winning the championship? Just play like the ridiculous all-star he is. That's all he's got to do. He's been hot all season long, so consistent, always an animal. He's just got to keep up playing the way he is. Final boss, they've kind of adapted the strategy around him. And you know what? He's going to be the player to watch in this match for darn sure. All right, here we go. I'm excited. Did I yeah. mention that? I'm you excited. Know what? I don't want to wait Final anymore. Carbon boss. Let's, Let's get, get it going. Right I, I'm into done this talking. game one of the best of five series. We're going to be kicking this one off with CTF on the pit. Here we go. Carbon's ready. They're smiling when they're having fun. Look out because they can be trouble. And you know, final boss, they're feeling confident as well. It's capped for the flag on the pit. We're going to be looking for Neighbor to be touching the sniper rifle. And then on the other side, I hope Nated gets a chance to touch that weapon as well. You like it when he touches it. Rockets <laughs> and overshields. Just the sniper, not the no, Anyway. Uh, all right, here we go. We're kicking this one off it's with my buddy. Uh, it's Neighbor here from final boss. He is going up top of the sniper rifle tower. Meanwhile, Ogre 2 is going to sit on training. He's going to watch the overshield while Neighbor's going to try and scoop in behind it. And Shockwave opened up the game with a big double kill here. But Neighbor's able to get the overshield and check this out. Ghost Yami already has final ball. Jumps a rocket right there as well. So this is looking a lot like the straight rip and instinct game. Carbon coming out strong. Grabbing a flag early, but we have Neighbor with the overshield just like what Jit had against instinct. And now they're going to look for a counter. You know, it's going to be really interesting. I, I, I'm curious.